this is just a quick video to explain how to create a pie chart or to edit a pie chart. We're going to just quickly create a pie chart that shows the total of the month for each of these filtered months. Okay, so I've selected the two data values. I'm going to go to insert pie chart. Click on that. I'm going to move this over to its own sheet by right clicking and selecting move chart. I'm going to call that pie chart. Okay. Now what I see quite a lot is is charts like this where I've got the pie chart, I've got the months, maybe no numbers. And I've previously explained that you can use the quick layout feature to change this. I'm going to just quickly talk through how to manually change this because uh, I think it's important people know how to do that. The thing we want to change is the data labels. And at the moment, if I just hover over a segment, you can see that I've got a series one point April, a value of £15,522.86 and 24%. So a pie chart can either show the value, in this case, £15,000 plus, or a percentage. So this is 24% of the whole. I want this to show the value. So I'm going to go to my chart elements. I can add data labels there. And this is where people get to. And sometimes they'll even get to the point where they move that to the outside. And this is what I see quite a lot when people submit these these spreadsheets is they've got the, the number, but no, uh, no, no month name next to it or, or category name is called. I'm going to quickly show you how to add that category name. Go back to your add elements, your chart elements. Go to data labels and you see this little triangle, that's your flyout menu. If you click on that, we've used this already to go to get the outside end. But if we go to more options, over on the right hand side here, you'll see a little bar chart and the label options. This may be, may look like that when you go into it. You just need to click on the little triangle next to it. And what we want to do is make sure that category name is selected. And that will make sure that we've got the month name and the amount showing. If I decided this had to be showing percentages, I could also change this here. I could put percentages on, take value off, and then it would just show the month with the percentage rather than the value. I'm going to swap that back around. I don't want that. So I've got April 15,000, blah, 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 September and so on. So this is what I'm looking for. I've still got this legend here, but I'll get rid of that in a sec by just going to my chart elements and legend. I don't want both sets of information there. I don't need this anymore because I've got the information in my data label. So I'm going to get rid of legend. And obviously I would give this a sensible chart tile. And that's how you do it. That's how you put the month in. In this case, if you've only got one value there and you want to describe what the value is, just go to your chart elements, data labels, fly out there, more options, your label options, and select category name there.